Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Whitney Peterson. I am a young mom, I am married, and I am living in California currently, and so a lot of my content is focused around my daughter, my lifestyle, my family, um, and my faith. So, welcome to my channel. If you guys are not new here and you guys have been longtime subscribers, welcome back. I wanted to film my diaper bag and kind of what I carry around with me when I'm on a trip at the airport or going to the mall or wherever I am. These are like the essentials I keep in my diaper bag. I do have a seven month old daughter, but I feel like I haven't really changed what's in my diaper bag ever since she was first born. So I think this could really work for even if you're a new mom and you just wanna know what to pack in your diaper bag for. Not the hospital visit because they usually provide everything for you, but after that, I feel like this can really apply to you as well. Every baby is different, so my baby doesn't use some things that maybe some babies do need to use. So just take this all with a grain of salt and obviously put what you prefer in your bag, but I just hope this gives some moms some help of what you guys can put in your guys' diaper bag and also just what I carry in my diaper bag. So let's get on with the video. So for my diaper bag, I have the fawn design. I don't know what color this one is specifically called, but you definitely be able to tell which one it is when you go to the website. Um, I love my diaper bag. It's backpack, but also you can carry it over your shoulder like a purse which is really nice because sometimes I just need to throw it over my shoulder. Other times, the backpack is so convenient. No matter what diaper bag you guys get, I highly, highly, highly suggest it is one that at least has a backpack option because your hands will get full and holding a bag like this is not convenient when it's on your shoulder because it will slide off from experience. So. Highly suggest you guys get at least a diaper bag that has a backpack. I will link mine down below, but I do know that Amazon has a dupe version of the Fawn Design bag. I think it's very similar to my bag, like to Fawn Design. I have a friend that has the dupe version and I have just like the Fawn Design brand version and they look identical to a T, colors are exactly the same. One day I'm determined we're gonna mix bags because they just look so similar. So do what you will with that information and save some money. But yeah, I do recommend the Fawn Design. It's a great bag, can't talk bad about it, it's so good. I want to, before I show you what's inside of my bag, what I carry around, I do wanna quickly show you the pockets on the outside before we get into the inside. On the outside, so on the back, you can see it's like just this back side. But right here by the handle, there is a pocket. I really, really enjoyed this pocket. Um, it was really important for, like, at the hospital, I brought my diaper bag because I carried, like, some, I packed some of my stuff in it, and we ended up having, obviously, paperwork that we had to bring home for Brexley, our daughter. And so this is, like, the perfect pocket to put it in because it's such a, like, straight pocket that it keeps your paperwork, you know, straight and not bent. So... Really love that pocket for paperwork. I'm sure moms use it for a ton of other things, but I haven't found too much use for it besides for paperwork and stuff like that. On one of the sides, we have this pocket right here. Now this pocket, I'm assuming, is just either another random pocket or you can probably put your bottles in it. I stuff my bag a little bit more than most moms probably do, so I don't have too much room to stuff a bottle in there, but definitely can stuff a bottle in there. Um, front side, so this is what it looks like in the front, and you see this pocket. So you have this pocket, no zipper, holds a ton of stuff in there, pretty deep, and then this zipper pocket right here. And then on this side, it's the same as the other side, just another bottle-like pocket. Now, I also forgot, on the back, we have this side pocket that like also goes in, and I think it's all of this part. I have not used that part. Super cool, convenient, haven't used it, so don't have much to say about it. Now we will open the big pouch, which is where you keep all of your necessities. And before I show you around inside, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I bring along for my daughter when we go out and about in her diaper bag. And I will make sure that I link everything down below, so if you guys want to find any of the items I have, I will make sure that you guys can find it right down below. Alright, so to start off, what I have in my diaper bag, I always carry around a changing pad. This has been a lifesaver for me, not only out and about, but at home. I know that it's very common for babies to 
have blowouts, but my daughter specifically is really good at it. So sometimes I'm in panic mode. I don't know where to set her. I don't want to run her all the way up to her changing table in her room. So I grab this out of my diaper bag. So nice. This one like Velcros and folds. There are a ton of different brands, ton of different kinds of changing pads. You can't go wrong. It, it's just a sanitary thing and I love it. So this is what mine opens to. This is like a cushioned pillow right here. I don't know what my daughter thinks about it, but very cool add-on. I love this diaper changing pad. I know other people love other ones. Can't go wrong. I'll make sure to link this down below, but again, so many other brands you can find on Amazon if you want to find a prettier looking one or just something smaller. This is pretty small and thin, so it goes into my bag very easily, but I know there are smaller looking ones, so yeah. Have it on you. It's so nice. Public restrooms, so nice. Back of the car, very convenient because it's just so dirty in all those places. Next, I have these. These are actually diaper bags, so when you're out and about, change your baby in the car. You don't want to just keep your dirty diaper in the car with the heat if you're in a hot area like I am or if you're somewhere public it's obviously not the most kind thing to put your baby's dirty diaper in the garbage where it's gonna smell up the entire bathroom so these are basically like dog poop bags but for baby diapers so um, you put the baby diaper in tie it then you can throw it away they smell so good you can keep them in your car for a little bit longer as far as like if there's a dirty diaper in there put it in your car for just until you get home. So nice. I really, really love these. Next, I like to keep a pair of socks, just one pair of socks in the diaper bag. We live in a warm state, so I don't put socks on my daughter too often, but all my family and where we're from live in Washington, and we travel there quite often, so I like to have at least an extra pair in the diaper bag, just in case we forget any. Um, Washington's a lot more <laughs> cold than here in California, so socks are always important when they're in the cold. Next, I always like to keep a bottle in my diaper bag. Usually, I actually fill it with water to the amount that she drinks. Just in case times, if I'm in a rush somewhere, make sure I have my bottle in a bag. Next is this formula case. As you guys may have seen my other video, or if you haven't, I will make sure to clip it up above. I no longer breastfeed. I'm now formula feeding, and if you want to know why, again, go back to that video, but this has been so, so convenient because it is more compact. It's a lot larger than I thought when I bought it, but it's still a lot smaller than like the normal cases you get from the store with the formula in it. You open it, it comes with a separated spot right here with the spoon, which is super nice. This is a one ounce spoon, so it's a little bit more annoying, but nonetheless, super convenient to have in this. And then the next pouch is where your formula is. So, super, super nice. Doesn't ever open, never had a problem with that. I keep this in my bag, of course, for when we're walking around or if we're just out and about and we need to give her food. So that is this little formula case. Next, we like to keep in our bag, of course, the classic wipes. There's not much to say. Keep wipes in your bag. It's just a need. And that also goes for diapers. We also like to keep around four to three diapers in the bag, sometimes more depending on how long we're gonna be out. Yeah, we don't like to fill the diaper bag with a ton of diapers, because obviously it takes up a ton of space, but definitely have at least three, or maybe one if you know you're just going out for an hour. But just in case, I like to keep three to be safe. Next, I like to keep these yogurt melts in my bag. Brexley is now seven months, so she can start eating um, food like this and then also solids and stuff so we keep these in the bag mainly for times when she's very very grumpy and if we're at church or wherever where it's more quiet in the area or whatever the case may be we like to keep these in there and just give her one to kind of distract her but yeah so love these they're such a good little snack and they're so yummy next we like to just keep a few toys nothing crazy literally a chewing teething toy and then just this like crinkle toy so Nothing crazy, two small things. She does pretty good about just being chill when we go out and about, so she doesn't really need toys. But I like to keep two just in case. So those two toys right here. And then I also have this nursing cover. Now I used to nurse, but no longer am. But I do love the nursing covers because they have so many purposes and uses out of them. You can also use this as 
a car seat cover so when your baby is taking a nap and you're out and about and there's sun or whatever um put this over and it completely blocks out the light and it covers them but yeah highly suggest even if you're not a nursing mom I suggest you get these because they are just convenient to have for your car seat cover. I love this color because it's all neutral, so I'll make sure to link this specific one down below. Again, so many different options, colors, designs on Amazon, and I'm sure small businesses have a ton as well. Next, I like to keep about two onesies in the diaper bag, depending on if I used one and forgot to replace it, then there's one in the diaper bag. Um, so I just keep two plain onesies, usually just white, because I don't know where I'm gonna be when something happens, and if it's, I don't know, I just don't wanna like bring too fancy of an outfit or you know so I just like to have two onesies in my bag just to be safe so I just keep these two clean onesies in my bag for any emergencies um, next we have diaper rash cream this brand I don't know much about it it's just a popular brand so I um, got this one and then this is the bumco spreading like spoon basically super nice you don't have to use your fingers to spread butt paste on your baby's bottom so these are really nice and then this one specifically is small so it's nice and compact for your diaper bag and it is also silicone so it washes off so easily and then it comes with a case so that's also very very convenient for a travel little spoon for your diaper paste if the frame looks a little different i just have to change my battery real quick so camera moved a tad bit but let's continue next i like to just keep a pair of clippers in the bag just convenient to have i don't think i've actually ever used them when i'm out and about but sometimes i forget them when we go on trips and then i know that i have an extra in my bag brixley's nails grow like crazy they i will cut them and then the next day i'll need to cut them again so it's always nice to have these on hand. So, clippers. Next, I have always just liked to keep my pacifier clips in the bag. I, again, have not really found a need for these, but there have been times where I need to wrap a toy around this and then clip it onto her because we're on an airplane and she'll throw it on the ground or things like that. So, things I've just found that are more convenient to keep in the bag than not. Um, so some pacifier clips. Okay, so I showed you the outside, but I didn't show you what was in the pocket. So I'll do that real quick. And then I want to show you the inside of what the bag looks like now that it's empty. Um, but real quick on the outside, always, always, always bringing a pacifier, an extra one. I've found the need for extra ones. Brexley only takes them when she's going to bed or napping, but sometimes we have home group or some sort of event that goes past her bedtime and she gets pretty tired, pretty cranky, this will calm her down. Just something we've constantly forgot while we're out, so extra pacifier. And then I like to keep more things for myself again, like hand lotion um, and some hand sanitizer. I like to keep a gloss in my bag just in case. This pocket is definitely more of my mom pocket, but I also like to keep a little bit of Advil. Um, I am just very headache prone, and so having this on hand is really important for me some chapstick, and then I also have some Alka-Seltzer Alka dissolving tablets. I think I actually had a cold at one point and wanted to make sure I had extra in my bag, but now I like obviously don't have the cold, but I like to keep it in my bag because I feel like it's just convenient to have. It's small, it's tiny, it's not gonna take up extra room, so why not? All right, so that is what I keep in my diaper bag. If I'm missing anything that you guys have found you really need, let me know down below, because obviously, even though I haven't needed it yet, I may in the future. Brexley is only seven months, like I said, so you, if you have a older baby, let me know, and let me know what you have found that they will need when they are older. But for you all who have babies under seven, months i really think that these are the necessities and you can't go wrong with what's in your bag from what i have shown you so now that we have finished what's in my diaper bag and what i have found to be really important to keep on you i want to show you guys what the inside of my fawn design bag specifically looks like so you guys if you are curious on the fawn design and have been wanting it but want to know more about it the website does a great job of explaining it, but of course, if you're on this video and you're already here, I'd love to show you what it looks like. Okay, so digging into the bag, this is what the 
whole bag looks like and then on the inside ton of space I am serious you can fit so much in this bag super super deep um, wide and just super convenient with all the pockets but let me start showing you with this one first this is on the back side so usually where your back rests um, big pocket right here I keep a lot in here this is just a coffee um, punch card but yeah keep a lot in there and then a zipper pouch also super super nice and pretty good size the entire bag has all these pockets which I believe they're for your bottles I do not know for sure if they are insulated but I believe so don't quote me on that definitely suggest looking at the fawn design website but I know that you can keep bottles in here and they have those all around and then obviously just all this space that they give you in the bag so now that I have shown you what the inside of the bag looks like empty I want to fill it so you guys can see what it looks like when I fill it with the stuff I have just shown you and I feel like I still have a ton of space left and yeah so let's get to that clip <laughs> So with that, that is the end of my what's in my diaper bag video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, feel free to give it a like. And also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of me. Um, if you guys have any recommendations of videos you want to see from me that I have not done already, comment those down below. And if you guys want to see more of me daily, I tend to post more on my Instagram more frequently. So go follow my Instagram. And with that, thank you so much. I will see you guys next week. Bye.